Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video we're going to do a quick speed comparison between all of the Apple Watches, starting from the original, which is Series 0, all the way up to Series 4, which was just released last week. So for this comparison, we focus on a few different tasks, specifically being how long it would take to boot up your Apple Watch from when it's turned off, how long Siri takes to complete a command, and how long it would take for certain applications to open up. Now for the most part, these tests are all pretty subjective and there's really no way to get a 100% accurate result, but for the most part, you can get an understanding of just how fast or slow a certain Apple Watch model might be. So with all that said, let's start off with how long it takes to boot up an Apple Watch from when it's off. And if we start off with the Series 4, which was just released a week ago, this model actually took about 51 seconds to boot up, while the Series 3 model from 2017 took 2 minutes and 19 seconds. Series 2 came in at around 3 minutes and 47 seconds, and Series 1 weirdly beat Series 2 by almost 30 seconds with a time of 3 minutes and 19 seconds. And as you might expect, the Apple Watch Series 0 came in at a staggering 5 minutes and 8 seconds. Now you shouldn't find yourself booting your Apple Watch up a lot. I rarely ever have to do so, but if you ever have to, be prepared to wait a bit, especially if you have an older model. Now if we move on to the Siri portion, there's not a huge difference between the Series 4 and the Series 3. Both watches read the results out loud and provide graphics, if available, at roughly the same speed. Now with the Series 2, 1, and 0 Apple Watches, Siri doesn't actually read the results back to you. Instead, she only provides you with texts and or graphics. With the weather and score questions, Siri was pretty quick to respond on the Series 2 and even the Series 1, but when it came to what day does Christmas fall on this year question, the Series 1 and Series 0 watches took a significant amount of time to respond. Now as far as opening applications goes, the same results from Siri pretty much apply here. With most applications, there was not a huge difference between the Series 4 or the Series 3, but Series 4 was always slightly faster. The Series 3, when opening third-party applications like Dark Sky and ESPN, or even native apps like Home and Podcasts, it did take a noticeable amount of time longer than the Series 4 to open, but the results were not nearly as drastic when dropping down to a Series 2, 1, or 0. Now this is obviously to be expected, but some applications like Dark Sky took so long that they really didn't even open up after a few minutes, and I just had to give up with the Series 1 and 0. The camera app is one that generally takes a bit of time no matter what Apple Watch model you're using, because it has to communicate and open the app up on your phone first and then talk to the watch, and the Series 4 performed as it should. It worked quickly and easily, with the Series 3 being right behind it in nearly similar speeds. Even the Series 2 and 1, while of course being slower, still open the camera app at a reasonable amount of time. Sadly, the Series 0 took forever to open the app, and even after it actually opened the app all the way up on the phone and the watch, it still took a while to actually see the camera image on your watch. Now obviously, these results of this video should be pretty predictable. The Series 4 is newer and faster and should be all around better, but the differences between the Series 4 and say a Series 2 is staggering. If you have a Series 2 and you're thinking about upgrading, the performance improvements alone is enough for me to say to go for it. Obviously, if you're mulling over the Series 4 and you have a Series 1 or 0, to me this is a no-brainer, you should definitely upgrade. If speed is the only important factor to you, however, the Series 3 will be a noticeable difference from 1 or 0 owners, but the Apple Watch Series 4 brings along a much better and larger display, better health features, and if you're a Series 0 owner, you don't even get to take advantage of Watch OS 5 like the rest of the watches. These are all things to consider when thinking about an upgrade. No matter which watch you have, the design overhaul and the performance improvements, regardless of whether you own a Series 3 or older, will feel like a pretty dramatic upgrade when moving to the Series 4. So go ahead and let us know your thoughts on this speed test between the Apple Watch Series 4 and all of the other Apple Watches in the comment section down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.